Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the iRobot J7 Plus Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. What I want to do today, first of all get it unboxed, get it all set up and then give you a couple of demonstrations of it and show you some of the features and benefits that it offers. Now, despite selling some of the iRobot vacuums quite a few years ago now, uh, this is actually the first one that I've spoken about on my YouTube channel. I'm quite excited about this actually. Uh, but this, so in here, first of all, we've got some of the solution. So let's say, so Brava Jet cleaning agent. And we've got a couple of mopping pads in there. Uh, something I do comment on quite a lot when I'm talking about products and unboxing on my videos are the, the packaging and how recyclable it is. So in here we've got a, a mains lead. I'll take that out in a moment. <laughs> that appears to be a little bit stuck in there. Uh, but I'm pleased to see so far that quite a lot of this packaging is the, the brown cardboard, which is always recyclable, which is always very good. So well done, iRobot. And on the hair, I'll tell you what, let's pop that on the floor. Not the easiest thing to take out, but nevertheless, there we go. Just didn't want to drop it. So, first appearance. This looks really nice. I do really like the look of this. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get all the packaging removed, get it put to one side, then we can start to look at getting it set up. I've got the vacuum plugged in and charging away in the background there. But what I need to do first of all is to get the app downloaded onto your phone or tablet. Really easy, so I've done most of it. Got the initial, initial setup process done, but all it's doing is it's just asking me to set up now. So add the product. Uh, this is going to enable the Wi-Fi. So I just need to put the Wi-Fi password in here. So now I've put the password in. It's just connecting to my robot, as it says there. It just had a little audible sound in the background. And now it's saying, so stay on this screen until the connection finishes. So we've connected to the Wi-Fi, verify the password, and then to establish the cloud connection. There we are. You can just see that everything is connected successfully. Now it says, take a second to name your robot. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what to name it. So my question for you, if you had a, an iRobot like this, if you had a Roomba robotic vacuum, what would you call it? Or if you've got one, what do you call it yourself? Let me know in the comments. There we are. So I'm just going to keep it as Roomba Combo. There we go. Setup complete. Load your experience. This could take a few minutes. So of course, all of this is just an initial setup. I know it can, it can take a while, but personally, I think it's well worth getting it all set up properly. And here we go. So there is a, a software update available. And again, I know it, it, well, it says on here, it can take up to 20 minutes, but I definitely think it's worth doing now. I want to try and get the best I can from the vacuum. So I'm going to, well, I'm going to start update and it's a perfect time for me to go and grab a cup of tea. There we are, so now the software update is done. I've had a cup of tea, so I'm a happy chappy now. As you can see, it says ready to vacuum. But the first thing we need to do is to press the map button and we need to create a new smart map and what this will do is this is going to run around the floor, uh, all of downstairs, and it's going to map out the area that I think it should vacuum. So I've opened the doors to things like the kitchen and had a bit of a tidy up because you will find that it tells you on this page. So let's prep your home for mapping. Uh, so clearly you need to get rid of any, any toys or cables or uh, not necessarily move the chairs, if, but you, you can leave them in place if you want to. Hopefully it should be able to navigate around the chairs. Uh, but let's just tick that one. So turn lights on and open the blinds so Roomba Combo can navigate while mapping and cleaning. Tick that and then start mapping. So I'm going to press this and we'll see how long it takes, but let's go. There we are. So the mapping is all done now. I'm actually surprised how quickly it did it. It only took around probably 15, 20 minutes to do the mapping of all of my downstairs. There are quite a few manufacturers that take a lot longer than that. 
There is a major manufacturer where I've reviewed a cordless vacuum of theirs recently. And I must say it took probably about two hours to map the shop where I was working at at the time. But nevertheless, this one, the iRobot has done it a lot quicker. Not that it really matters, but it just means that I can crack on with a video and show you some of the features and benefits that this is offering. So as you can see here, so it's just given a, a brief overview of the, the hallway and living room. So this is almost guessed what, uh, what this is. And it is correct, actually. This is the hallway. This is the kitchen over here. I've got quite a tiny kitchen in this place at the moment. And I've got the living room area here. So let's, uh, but what you can do is if the map looks wrong, then you could send it out again and you could get it to go and remap the area. But I want to save this map. And what you can do is you can actually put dividers in between. So what you can do is you can actually schedule certain, so I'll just show you here. So you can actually schedule it as well. And this is something I will do because I will be using this from now on. The, if, uh, if you wanted the vacuum to come out, say every day or every two or three days, then you can schedule it to come out at certain times of the day or even night. If you wanted it to come out at night and to vacuum, then that could be a, a good option. And all you need to do is press new schedule. As it says, you can set certain days, times, uh, you can have it to clean certain areas of the floor. So if you just wanted it to clean, say the hallway on certain days, then I could do, and then I could have it to clean the living room on another day. But uh, for now, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Uh, you have got the option to vacuum everywhere, but on this one, I'm just going to show you around the vacuum now because you've actually got a mopping facility as well. Just show you some of the features on the vacuum itself. Now, first of all, as you can see underneath here, you've got the brush on this on this side, and it does come with a spare brush as well. So I'm really glad that our robot have given us a spare one. You can find over time, it just wears out. Uh, I suppose naturally the way it's spinning, the revolutions per minute, which I'm not sure how quickly it rotates. Uh, but with that, over time, the bristles will wear out. But Thankfully, we've got a spare one in here anyway. And to undo it and to put the new one on, it's just simply a case of just unscrewing that, popping the new one on there. Uh, on the front here, then this is actually the bin. So if you just press that, then the bin just pulls off like that. And you've got a filter on the side here. That's easy just to take out. And what you can do is you can actually, again, you've got a spare one here. Uh, it's something I do recommend, especially when you've got a it doesn't have to be a robotic vacuum, can be any vacuum cleaner, uh, corded, cordless, robotic. Uh, what I always recommend when it comes to things like your filters on the vacuum, if you've got washable filters, I'd always recommend purchasing a spare filter because uh, what you will find is when you wash one, uh, often you need to leave it for quite a few hours, ideally around 24 hours for it to dry properly. Uh, but what will often happen is that when you wash the filter, you want to vacuum probably almost straight away. I know I do at home uh, and it's quite frustrating if I just washed it, put it on the side and then I'm out of action with a vacuum for around a day. And of course, by having a spare filter, you can just go and pop the spare one in while the other one is drying properly. So again, another plus point for iRobot. So this is the bin itself. Uh, not a huge capacity, I must say, compared to some other robotic vacuums on the market. But there is something that I'm going to show you a bit later. Uh, which is a good reason why it doesn't need to have a huge capacity. I'll give you a little clue. Within the dock itself, which is just sat on the floor next to me, there is a bag. So that's a little hint. But just at the top here, you've got the little water droplet as well. And all we need to do, because this is actually, apart from a vacuum, this is actually a mop vacuum as well. So as well as going out to get all the dirt up, it can actually go and mop as well. Now that's something that isn't unique to my robot. Quite a few other manufacturers have a similar mopping facility. Uh, they all tend to vary as far as how they do it. Uh, some of them actually have the water on board like this. Some of them you actually put the water within the dock itself. So they all vary and I suppose they'll all have different varying levels of success. But on this model, all you need to do is just go and put some water in here, which I'm gonna go and do in a moment and put some of the solution in that I showed you earlier. That's the little bottle here. So just put some of that solution in as well. Now put some of the water in here with a bit of the solution and this is ready to go back on. See if I can do this backwards. There we go. So that's ready to go. 
Just before we start the vacuum or mopping process, I'm just going to show you this. So these are two of the mopping pads themselves. Now on quite a few of the other robotic vacuums I've spoken about, you have to attach them underneath. Not on the iRobot, so these guys have come up with something a little bit different. And all you need to do is attach it, let's just show you, attach it onto this part here. Now this is quite unique. Uh, so all you need to do is, so clip it on there. You've got a Velcro pad and then that is ready to go. Now I know it looks a little bit odd being on top here, but I'm sure when we start the vacuuming and the mopping process, then it's going to come to light as to how it all works. But now we've got that, I think what I want to do is I want to go and send it out to do an initial vacuum first because I've purposely left my house uh, to get a little bit dirtier. I promise I've not been lazy with my vacuuming. Uh, I've got enough vacuum cleaners in my house <laughs> over the last couple of years to, I suppose, clean the entire street. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it on the base, then set it to go and vacuum. So through the app, all you need to do is to select which option you want. So in a moment, I will actually do the vacuum and mop everywhere. But as an initial vacuum, just to give it a fighting chance, then I want to just vacuum everywhere. Now, a couple of options. You can actually press the button on the top. So if you want to, you can just press that button and it'll come out and vacuum. But what I want to do is I want to do this through the app itself. So I'm just going to press the vacuum everywhere button. And as you can see, it says cleaning and out it comes and it's ready to go. Now it's finished the vacuum process, you'll see on here there's an option called empty bin. Now on quite a few other cordless robotic vacuum cleaners, what you need to do is to go and empty the bin yourself and turn it upside down, take the bin off, it can be a little bit labor intensive and because of the size of some of the bins, because some of them are quite small, then you could find that you're empty the bin quite often. Not a case on this iRobot. All you need to do is you need to press the empty bin button, but I just wanna show you in the top here, if I just open that, you'll see you've actually got a bag inside. Now this is a, it's a cloth bag and I recommend not trying to empty it. So once the bag is full, then just get rid of it. You have actually got a spare bag in here. That's the, the bag itself. As you can see here, it's got uh, iRobot imprinted on it and it's got a rubber seal to make sure it seals properly on the inside here. So that's a, a spare bag that comes with it. Uh, but essentially what this will do, I'm just gonna show you this, is if I press the empty bin button, it gets a little bit noisy because I have, I've already tried it uh, before, but I'll show you this. As you can see, it says empty and bin on the side here. And what that's done is so that has completely emptied the bin into the bag. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to take this out. So let's just double check that the bin is actually empty. So this is the bin itself. And as you can see, it's, it, is, it is pretty empty. There's a little bit of residue just on the inside there, but I'll be honest, the, the job it's done is actually really, really good around my living room. So let's just pop that back on now. Now I'll give it a vacuum. Then what I'm going to do now is to say vacuum and mop everywhere. Uh, I know initially I could have just done the vacuum and mop to do it at the same time. Uh, but really what I wanted to do was to give it a really good chance to have a, a, a good clean around the property first, which I'm really pleased with the job it's done. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I want to give it a mop because I've just got laminate floors here. Uh, and to, to give it a good clean, let's press this button. And here we go. So you just see here, underneath, the mop has actually gone underneath now. I don't know if you caught it, but what it's doing is as it's vacuuming, it's mopping at the same time. So now it's finished the job, it's just heading back onto the dock. Uh, there we go. 
Uh, I don't know if you can see, it's probably not all that clear, I'll try and get the light in it, but the floor is actually pretty dry afterwards. Um, I have reviewed other mopping kind of uh, vacuum cleaners before, whether upright or robotic, and it leaves the floor really wet. Uh, but I'm really impressed actually. Um, it does look a lot cleaner, and I'm going to have a look at the, the mop pad underneath in a minute to see how dirty it is, but really, really impressed. There's actually a lot more technology that I could talk about on this vacuum. Things like voice assistant, so whether you've got Alexa or Google Assistant, then you can actually talk to it and you can actually get it to start and clean the floors and go through the whole vacuum or mopping process. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, also, it's got things like dog mess detection. So I'm sure everyone's seen the videos online of things like the robotic vacuums running over some dog mess and it makes a complete mess of the floor that it's on. Not nice to see, but this has actually got detection in there that it will detect any uh, animal mess on the floor uh, and then it'll avoid it, which is always a good thing. So as I say, there's a whole load of technology and I could carry on talking about this for another couple of hours and giving even more demonstrations. But it, really what I wanted to do was to give you an overview and not make the video too long. I think if it's too long, then it can get a little bit boring. But uh, if you're as impressed as I am with this and you're thinking you could purchase in one of these, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe, leave any comments below. Do always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video. I'm sure there might be other features that you might have come here to have a look. Uh, if you've got any questions on it, then I'm going to be using this one. Then uh, just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, it doesn't necessarily have to be this particular one the J7 Plus. It could be one of the other iRobot cordless robotic vacuums. If you got one, let me know what you honestly think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. And don't forget, if you have got one, then let me know what you called it. Or if you wanted to rename a, an iRobot vacuum, what would you call it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today.